Though as children of the kingdom of heaven, the disciples are free from worldly impositions, their role, our role, is to never cause offense. This same word, skandalizomai, is the, is the Greek word, and you can hear scandal in it, or cause stumbling or cause offense. This same word is used many places, and that our relationship to the world should not be one that we cause stumbling blocks, that we shouldn't cause offense. And so, we should pay taxes. We should be good citizens. This is something the New Testament teaches a lot of places and here as well. And Jesus gives Peter instructions that communicate that even though we're free and even though we should pay taxes, God will provide. And in one of the oddest miracles of Jesus ever referenced, although the miracle never explicitly happens, but this, this instruction Jesus gives to Peter to, to cast a hook into the sea, he'll find a fish, and in the fish you'll find a, a coin that is enough to pay for both Jesus and him. It's a very odd little miracle that we just have to presume happened. But the point is actually not the miracle, but God's provision for his people, for his sons and daughters who are free. And taken together, Jesus' teaching here is remarkably similar to what he says in chapter 22, verses 15 to 22, when he's questioned about paying taxes to Caesar. Jesus teaches that the citizens of the kingdom of heaven are responsible to their king, their father, but they also still live in this earthly world and realm. And so we also have responsibilities here, most especially to be salt and light in the world. We're to bring glory to God through our good deeds. I think of Matthew 5, 13 to 16. Therefore, the Christian's relationship to the world is one of respectful and helpful freedom, neither being enmeshed and controlled by the world, nor disengaged and opposed. This is what Jesus says elsewhere, being in the world, but not of it. We are free as sons and daughters of the true king of the world, but we are here to be salt and light, to be witnesses of God's goodness and truth and beauty in the world. Therefore, we live in this free but respectful way.